Cutting to the chase, the December edition of the Metalhead Box is pretty appropriate given the holiday season. And, uh, we have this to show for it. Yeah, we got Cannibal Corpse! Ha ha ha! Now, I'm not really a beanie person, because I like my hair down, that way everybody can see it. That way they can see how beautiful it is. However, this looks pretty cool. And, it's got the original Cannibal Corpse logo and not the shitty, stale, boring new logo that they got after Barnes left. I don't know why they decide to go with the new one. I mean, I know there's copyright reasons and stuff, but still, the old one looks better. Who doesn't think so? Anyway, this beanie looks pretty cool because I can pull off my J look. Smoking weed, smoking weed, doing coke, drinking beers, drinking beers, beers, beers. Of course, it is time to talk about the CDs of the metal that I have been given in the box. And of course, one of the things they sent me was... <laughs> Ah, uh, love me some goddamn Carl Sanders and George Colias. Holy shit! Now, everybody who knows me know that I already have the uh, vinyl edition of At the Gate of Sethu, but you know what? It's nice to have the CD version as well, because this is what I can play in the truck. You know, my truck is not... It doesn't have any auxiliary cables, and I don't think I can connect my iPod to it or anything. Now, next, of course, we have... Unleashed. Classic Swedish Metal. The album name is Odelheim, or Odalheim, whatever part of the world you're in. This album came out in 2012, but it shows that Unleashed is just as relevant now as they were back then. In fact, I would argue that their newer stuff is better than the original stuff. Just better production, better songwriting, better execution. You know, they've gotten their chops together over the years. That's not to say that the 90s Unleashed albums aren't classics, but... You know, I think I think this is just gonna stand the test of time a little better. Possessed Entity, Extermination of Angelic Parasites. It is brutal death metal from Massachusetts. A shocking album artwork, some rather amusing song titles such as Murderous Cult Rituals, Fetal Vomit, and Desecration of the Embalmed Flesh. The drum production makes it sound very old school, and it is reminiscent to early suffocation. Of course. We also have a couple of free album downloads. Oh, very nice. You know, that, that saves money on printing CDs and shipping CDs. And let's face it, you know, most people just rip CDs to their computer and send them back or sell them off anyway, so whatever. Anyway, so this album is by a band called Afterbirth. Ew. <laughs> Much appreciated, though. The other band here is Brackish Tide. In other words, they like the beach. Speaking of Brackish Tide, we have an autographed postcard from the band. Parental advisory illicit content. You know, there's explicit content, explicit lyrics, and now there's illicit content. Yeah, how many parental advisory labels are they going to make now? And what's probably my favorite thing from the box is an autograph from God of Death himself, Campley! Naturally, uh, this is a good progression after getting Rick Ross's autograph about a month ago. Uh, so, we have... Half of Massacre, two-thirds of Mantis, uh, two members of Gods of Death, and of course anybody who hasn't checked out Cam Lee's solo stuff needs to because it's awesome. Now all we have to do is resurrect Chuck Schulner and get his autograph. Then the collection will be complete. And of course, tis the season, we have King Diamond over here, says Knight of the Unborn on the bottom, and of course if he was a zombie it would be Knight of the Undead! Yeah! But what does it say? Season's greetings and best wishes for the new year from the Metalhead Box team. Aw, that's so nice of them. We also have what's going to provide for some good masturbating, I mean reading material for the next few months, an entire decibel magazine pertaining to Napalm Death. Yeah. Now, 14-year-old me would have gone crazy for this, as Napalm Death was one of the first grind and metal bands that I ever got into. Scum being an album that I listened to January 30th of 2010. See, I remember things like that. I'm sharp like that. And this this magazine contains a flexi desk containing a new song called Nurse the Hunger. They're talking about breastfeeding, okay? Preferably Mercedes Carrera. Anyway, so we also got interviews from Colin Richardson, the famed and awesome producer of said band Napalm Death, as well as Bolt Thrower and Garkus and a lot of other... Uh, Death and Grind bands, which everybody should like. And by the entire magazine pertaining to Napalm Death, I mean almost the whole thing. Look at this. We're in the middle of it right now. And let's see. Go a little further. Let's see what happens. Yep, we got even more Napalm Death. 
And also, this festival on the back? I want to go to that. Carcass at the gates, mayhem, monster man. What the hell does monster man have to do with metal? Whatever, I love monster man. Uh, repulsion, uh, uh, full of hell. Wow. We also have some literature from Pathos Productions. Lots of CDs right here, namely uh, Pessimist, uh, Waste Form, Gore Reality, Embalmer, Godless Rising, uh, bands I've never even heard of, but you know what? I probably should. I should probably give them a listen sometime. That's why they send the literature, you know, to advertise things. The shirt I got this month is from a black metal band known as Chaos Moon. Now, I had to actually look up what was on the shirt because I can't really read the logo worth of crap. You know, just saving everybody the trouble, the band on the shirt is Chaos Moon. Now, they started off in Tennessee, and then they moved over to Philadelphia, which is pretty great, uh, pretty great obscure black metal. Maybe I can see them next year at Communion of Darkness 6. Who knows? Anyway, that's it for my unboxing of the December box. Thank you very much for sending me some gnarly metal paraphernalia. Anyone who wants a Metalhead box, go to TheMetalHeadBox.com. They have all kinds of different boxes. They even have a vinyl box for the vinyl enthusiasts out there. And there's also the mini box, if you can't afford the regular box. It's slightly cheaper and has mostly the same stuff. It's just missing, like, two or three items. Anyway, but a little quick update. I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video, and primarily it's because I've been visiting family the past week and a half. And uh, that's been occupying my time. I just wanted to spend some time with them and not have to worry about YouTube. Regardless, I've been working a little bit on a behind-the-scenes project, which I may as well go ahead and reveal now. X Hoarder is playing some comeback shows. They're playing two shows back-to-back -back in New York on February 9th and 10th. And they're also playing a show in New Orleans on the 12th. I'm going to be at all three of them. Now, naturally, I can't tell you exactly what's been going on yet. Let's just say that there's some things that I have planned as far as uploading videos next month, and, you know, I'm, I'm just preparing really big for this. This is huge. As far as I know, the tickets for night one are sold out totally, but the tickets for night two and three, I think, are still available, so anybody wants to see X-Hoarder, they should, because Pantera kind of got their sound from them, and I actually think that x is a little better. But also note that the New Orleans state is 18 and over, so you're going to have to get a fake ID or sneak in somehow. I don't know. Just make yourself available. Because I'm also going to try to interview some of the audience members if I can. You know, do a little heavy metal parking lot type thing where you just go around asking people, Oh, hey, have you been listening to X Hoarder for long? Oh, how many times have you seen them live? You know, that type thing. Make it really fun. Follow my Instagram, follow my Facebook page, and if you want to give me money on Patreon, that would be much appreciated. I also have a skit video coming up, so stay tuned!